First, a very big thank you, a sincere and heartfelt thank you to all Texans because these last couple of weeks, we have asked for a lot from Texans. But author of the Texas Power and Energy newsletter, Doug Lewin, tweeted Thursday that he doesn't understand the difference between a conservation ask and a conservation appeal. Lewin also writes, quote, he also claims conservation has made a difference but presented no data to back up that claim. In fact, CEO Pablo Vegas did say ERCOT asked industrial users to go offline during the conservation appeals, as well as asking electricity distributors to lower the voltage carried by transmission lines. The reason for the problem isn't in doubt, however. This summer so far has been one of quite, you know, remarkable as it relates to the, uh, the, the challenges, uh, the number of records that we have set. We have set 10 new all-time records throughout this summer. Record high temperatures, less wind than expected, and thermal plants going offline unexpectedly put a squeeze on supply. Explosive growth is also feeding the demand. It's the demand. It's the available performance of the traditional thermal dispatchable generation fleet. And it's the availability of the intermittent renewable generation fleet. In the last 22 years, Hayes County grew a whopping 171 percent and Williamson County by almost 163 percent. Texas is now one of two states across the country with a population that tops 30 million. I don't think anybody expects the growth to slow down meaningfully. So we need to be positioned to lean into that. The Lewin has his doubts about how ready ERCOT is to lean in, tweeting, Vegas runs through the eight conservation calls over the last 14 days and what led to them. Not a single question from the board. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.